Hi everyone, welcome back. Chapter number seven, communication and activities tracking. One of the most important aspects of managing leads and deals is of course communicating with our clients, with our contact. This chapter is going to be relevant for all the communication you will have with clients, potential, potential clients, and I'm going to demonstrate it from the deals board, but it's also relevant to the leads board. Inside each item, or in our case, each deal, you will find different tabs where we can find and add information. So let's go all into my deals board and let's check it out. So as we said, let's say that we want to communicate with our client about, um, let's say that this deal, and our contact in this case is Madison. So if we um, open up this item card, as I said before, we have different um, tabs over here. Let's quickly go over them um, and then uh, dive into each one. So first of all, we have the overview tab, the overview is where we have our emails and activities widget. This is where I will document all of the relevant information and communication with my client. So this is where I can send uh, emails. I can see the received emails. This is where I can uh, post my meetings or even schedule the meetings from here, post my call summary and post any type of notes. And of course, if we had more activities that we want to add, we can quickly add them from here. And we have here a quick button to send an email to the client. Here we have all the deal information. So basically all the information in our column is displayed in here. When we scroll into the bottom, we can see all the tasks that we use in our sub item. So as you can see, this task reach out to Madison is also displayed in here. This is just a quick access to see all of, all of the information in one place. And in here you have the rel related account, so as we can see, Madison is our contact. We can also see her here. It's just clearer to see all of the information like this. So this is our overview tab, and we'll talk about emails and activities more in just a second. In here, we have the updates page. So this is the place where you can tag your teammates and you can tag each other um, and to communicate uh, with each other. So Dana, um, can you please um, let me know what's going on? with this client okay and then once i tag dana she will be able to reply from here and then all the communication will be stored in one place in any update we can of course add files gifs and so on over here we have our files view you can add files into here you can also add files into the um, files column and it will be added into this gallery as well we have our activity log, which we can see everything that's been happening. So um, if someone changed the status, someone wrote an update and so on. And we have here our app, which is quotes and invoices, a dedicated app for um, the CRM client, which, you, which lets you generate an invoice straight from Monday and download it as a PDF or send it to your client. This is an amazing tool that again is solely for our CRM clients. All right, now let's go back to our overview um, tab where we can see our emails and activities. First of all, in order to use the emails and activities, you must um, connect your um, calendar and your email. So that's a very easy way to do. Just um, go to send email. It will ask you to connect your email, either Gmail or Outlook, and then just follow the instructions. After you do so, it will be connected. So let me move on to my personal account and show you how it looks like. So this is what happens when I click on send an email. It will take uh, the email, uh, this demo email that I um, that I connected. So it will send it from here, and then um, I can um, I can add uh, the person that I want to send the emails to. And in this case, because it's already connected to Madison, as you can see, it suggested Madison's email automatically. So I can just click on it, and then this will be my uh sent address i can add um more email address um more email addresses like this and i can also cc and bcc as well this is where i will type the subject of my email so um meeting follow-up for example and you have the ability to take personalized fields from your board so for example you can say meeting follow-up and then you can add here the personalized, um, let's say, um, item name. And then it will say um, 
um, meeting follow-up deal name one, okay? Or in our case, let's say that this will be, I don't know, frog deal. So it will say um, meeting follow-up frog deal. And over here we have the content, the content of our email, which over here again we can use to we can use the personalized fields. So we can say, hey, um, let's say, hey, username, or sorry, in our case it's not actually username, but um, we can take the name from the fields over here. Um, and then we can say, um, please read the summary below um, regarding. Uh, deal amount and then here we can add the personalized um, uh, deal value and then it will quote the amount um, and by the way if this is something you're sending often you can create templates um, out of these uh, emails that you're writing so you can save it as a new template um, and then you can use it to basically make your work a lot more a lot faster so you can just click and add this template and you can add of course your name your signature um now once you send the email um it will appear here in this timeline so you will be able to see everything that happened previously everything that is upcoming like for example what happens if you schedule a meeting so you can schedule the meeting you can choose um the time that it will happen and you can save it and you can put here the uh, uh, the description, so meeting follow-up, um, you add it, and then because um, this is happening in the future, as you can see, it will be here in the section of upcoming. You have here in these settings, all of the different settings um, for the emails and activities, like for example, the ability to log all the emails from your Gmail or from Outlook, into the relevant item. So for example, all emails that you're sending or receiving from Madison are going to be logged inside here, even if you didn't write the email from the emails and activities tab. Meaning if you, if you wrote the email from Gmail and you sent it from Gmail, it will still be documented in here if you choose to. You have different automations um, that you can set up, like for example, when a new email is received, change status to something, notify someone, and so on. And this is where you put your email signature um, and so on. Um, other things that I wanna show you quickly about the emails and activities is also the ability to add files. You can add files from your computer or from your files column if you have one. And you can also have email tracking. So you can see whether or not this email was opened, how many times it was opened. So this is a truly amazing tool um, for the CRM. And when you are utilizing the emails and activities widget, you're basically keeping everything in the same place and everything centralized. Now I want to show you the activities board. So every time you post any type of activity, so a meeting, a call summary, let's go with call summary, for example, and let's post um, everything that happened on our call. So I'm putting here the description. Um, a, this is happening on December 12th, right at 12 p.m. So I'm adding this call description. And now, as we said, every time we add a new activity, it will also be posted in my activities board. So when I go to the activities board, I can see here all of the different activities that happened um, with, my, uh, with my contact, with my client, no matter where you did it from. So even if you did it from the deals board, the leads board, the contacts board, everything you do from activity, from emails and activities widget is going to be documented in here. As you can see, I have here a call summary for the frog deal. You can see the start time, December 12, 12 p.m. You can see the status and the activity type. And um, this way, where you have all of your activities um, um, documented in here, you can use it in several ways. First of all, you can utilize a dashboard and you can see how many activities your reps are doing according to their types. You can do it on a monthly basis, um, like how many activities uh, were done in each month. You can see the progress of whether, how many open activities you have versus done. And again, feel free to add more widgets um, to customize it and see the insights that are interested 
uh, interesting to you to see. And of course, if you want to learn more about our widgets, about our dashboards, just visit the Knowledge Center. We have articles, we have videos about it, so you can customize it um, to your needs. Another way you can use this activities board is maybe kind of like a task list. So you can, uh, for example, use um, the Kanban even, or you can use um, maybe another table view. And this table can be filtered um, into the relevant person. So uh, filter it dynamically to the user. And then this user can come into this table view. You can also rename it as my tasks, for example. You can also filter it to say, only show me what is happening um, in the future. So the end, uh, the, end, the end date is future dates. And then you will have a list of all the tasks that you need to do um, in the future. Um, so this is another way to use the activities. So this is it for this chapter. And we'll be looking at reporting in the next chapter. Um, we will be looking at uh, reporting in the activities board, um, insights about your deals, numbers, and so on. <music>